I'm Kara Dawson with Johnson Charter Academy and Research Triangle Charter Academy. Today we're going to take a small tour of our sixth grade wing in our Johnson Charter Academy school building. Starting from right here, we are at the end of fifth grade and entering into our middle school wing. This is one of our first sixth grade classrooms. It's a math classroom with Ms. Palmer. And I guess you notice outside of her classrooms, we have lockers. Our kiddos are able to decorate their lockers however they would wish, as long as it's not permanent. Um, and they can have a combination lock on that as well. We would normally go into Ms. Palmer's classroom, but right now we're doing EOG testing and it's not set up like it would normally be. Now we're gonna take a trip a little bit further into our sixth grade wing. Uh, it partners with our seventh and eighth grade because we're a little bit of a smaller middle school community. So with our two sixth grade classrooms, we have Ms. Miller and Mr. Warren. We also have seventh grade as well. Let's go into Ms. Miller's classroom. She is our ELA teacher for middle school. And you'll notice right up front, you're going to see her board. The board in our middle school classrooms are going to be very similar to each other. The biggest difference is going to be how um, the subject is laid out. Um, their I can statement here is also going to be labeled straight out for them. Their homework is always going to be up on the board. Going right along with our student responsibility pillar, um, we keep that up front and center so they can write that right into their planners. Chance is also our behavioral expectations. We do this kindergarten through eighth grade. Um, so this is nothing new to our kiddos that have come in or transitioning from fifth grade up to sixth grade, but any new families that we have, we have conversation, health, activity, movement, participation, and always success. Conversation, how loud are you supposed to be? H, how do you ask for help? Activity, what are you doing? Are you doing whole group, individual group, individual, Chromebook, uh, whatever your activity is gonna be will be up here on the board. Movement, there are multiple ways you can move around the classroom, P participation 100% and S for success. Every classroom will have their own. Instead of having one big library room, we have individuals where we just stuff them into the classroom. That way kids can check them out every day if they would like. Here we on to Mr. Warren's classroom. Again, this is going to be a little bit different just because, again, we're testing today. So Mr. Warren's classroom is a little bit different just because we do have the science floor um, for our science experiments when we have them. His chance is still up on the board and right now their IXL um, for science is going to be up, again, their homework or their activities for the day. So this isn't our normal classroom setting. Once again, this is just because we're testing. Everything's going to be a little different. But one thing I would love to point out, on the desks are kid books that they have picked up. Um, you can see that they do have some for um, reading group that they're in. But if you also notice, there are multiple books um, here for this kiddo. Anytime they have any free time in a classroom when they're in between activities, um, we tell them to grab a book, sit down, and read it. Now we can head on out. Um, I'll show you the rest of our lockers that we have for our kiddos. Oh, remember to have our kiddos. Coming down the hallway from the sixth grade and seventh grade wing is our last of our eighth grade classrooms and Dean Reddick's office. We try to put our deans as close to our kiddos as possible. That way they have their own little communities within our whole community. This is ending our tour. Um, right here starts seventh grade and then around the corner we have the rest of seventh and eighth grade. Um, once the kiddos get here, they'll start going around the classrooms when they get to their different electives. So they'll be uh, a little bit more comfortable when it comes time to go up into 7th and 8th grade. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to give me an email at 108.kdawson at nhischool with an s.com. Thanks.